Hello and a wonderful, wonderful warm welcome to all of you. Bob DiGiacomo, Bermuda Bob Leadership and Intentional Growth Coaching. And as always, I'm coming to you from beautiful and sunny Bermuda, even though today is beautiful and rainy Bermuda. What can I say? So this is a this afternoon broadcast and today is June the 20th, which uh, if my calendar serves me correct, in the Northern Hemisphere is the first day of summer. And so we're into a rainy day on the first day of summer. Today I wanted to discuss a topic. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know how many of you will actually see this live. I'll, I'll see as you pop in. But I wanted to discuss a topic called history. The mystery of history and why so many, so many people think it's not important to study history. I happen to be a graduate of history. Uh, I took, took a whole bunch of courses in, in college, and of course history was my favorite subject, not only in high school, but uh, in college, and my degree goes with that. And the reason I say that is because there was always this question that, that popped up. If you were asked today what age you're living in, you would say the modern age. Now, of course, 100 years ago, 5 years ago, 20 years, uh, well, 100 years from now, 20 years from now, etc., and that same question were asked about what you were doing today, they would say that you were living in ancient history because it would be the past. Now, when today is over, today is over, and that means it's history. And yesterday is history and the day before and the day before etc etc and and you can go back as many years as you want the point being though that if we do not learn from the mistakes that we made in the past then generally speaking we are compelled to live it again in the future well the future started yesterday tomorrow starts now and it's so, so important to learn history. There's a bunch of things going on in the news at any given time. I'm not going to go into political beliefs or where I personally stand with regard to who, what, when, where, how, why. It doesn't matter. The point being that there are things that are being broadcast in the news where people don't apparently have a clue what they're talking about and it's because it's probably a lack of the study of history misconceptions about history now I know we can Google to our hearts delight um, you, you, you pick up on something and you want to know what happened on any given date and time the point being that you need to know what the date and time is that you're looking for in the first place for instance, June 6, 1944, just went by 75 years later, and we just celebrated and remembered the, uh, the anniversary of the landings on the Normandy beaches, D-Day. Now, to some of us, that's important. To others of us, that if you were to go out there and ask people on the street, they wouldn't have a clue. December 7th. Another important date in, in my realm of thoughts. Um, of course, there are two important dates that everyone should be concerned with, and that was the day you were born, and the date of the dash in between the ultimate date, and what you've done historically with the time that you've been given. So today, when it ends, it's history. What have you done with today that historically it will have some importance and value? Or are you just wasting away your time? So your comments are welcome. And I will look forward to hearing from you in any way, shape, or form. Historically speaking, make it a great, wonderful, significant, and beautiful day. Bob the Giacomo, Bermuda Bob Leadership and Intentional Growth Coaching. And you know where I'll be coming from. Bye-bye.